See this space back here? This is a family member's space. I am acquisitioning this space. Said family member is not using this space, has no plans on using this space, so I think, I think I'm going to use it. For what? Tanks, obviously. I'm suffering from severe multiple tank syndrome. Actually, this isn't going to be a traditional fish tank. I figure this space isn't being used right now. Why not use it to grow some pretty plants? Okay, I'm gonna set up the shelf now and I have a 40 gallon tank that I'm gonna put right here that I've just had out in my garage. The lighting is really bad. I look like a ghost. Okay, let's get going. I like those logs. Okay, the first thing I have to do is set up the shelf. So for the shelf, I'm using something that I picked up at Home Depot. It's an Edsel shelf. This shelf is supposed to work for a 40 gallon breeder tank according to Corey of Aquarium Co-op's video and also one that Solid Gold made. So I thought I'd give it a try. Looking at it, it doesn't look like it's big enough for my 40 gallon tank. So I hope I, you know, I hope I have the right one. That'd suck if I didn't. This doesn't look big enough. Actually, it probably is just fine. This shelving unit is actually four shelves. Uh, I'm not building it four shelves high, though. I'm only building it two shelves high. I'm only using half of it. Assembly instructions. That looks pretty good. I like this. It just barely fits. Oh, that was a close one. I thought it wasn't going to. Look how flush it is. Oh my goodness. The way that I'm gonna go about setting up this uh, immersed plant setup, the first part of this step, here are a bunch of empty baby food jars. I'm gonna put them in the corners of the tank, like so. These will be my supports. And then what I'm putting in right now is a piece of light crate, egg crate. Um, I got this at Home Depot and I cut it down to size. And this is going to elevate my plants up over the bottom. I have a bunch of cheap plastic Tupperware. So I drilled holes. These are my little drainage holes. In these is going to go just regular miracle Grow potting soil. I'm going to fill up the bottom of this tank to about an inch above where the containers sit. This way the soil will be able to wick up the water on its own, not get too soggy. I'm going to saran wrap the top and tape it, and that's how I'm going to keep the humidity in for these aquatic plants. So because this is an experiment, I'm going to get a few before shots of the plants I have in here currently. This way I can look at them in a few weeks or a month and just see what, what they're doing.
Hey guys, sorry about not updating in a while. Uh, I've been really sick for like the past two weeks. My voice is just starting to come back to normal. It's something about when I get sick, I lose my voice for so long and it's just horrible. Some cool news is I got myself a light. I got myself a ring light to help me light up kind of my dark house so I can film a little easier. But now I don't really have a tripod that works with it. I just found that out. So I figure I'm just gonna hold it here really awkwardly as I speak. Because that's not weird at all. I can do scary faces. This is kind of weird, but cool. Guys, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this immersed plant project. Um, it was more of just a personal experiment and I had fun with it and it was nice not to have to water change all the time. Really, I just neglected it for like two or three months now and everything's great. I made this video a while ago and I just edited it. Edited it? I just edited it, it together. And since then, I got rid of a bunch of plants that weren't doing very well and I replaced it with more little tubs of the plants that were doing good. I might offer some for sale on my website if I could ever get my dang website going. So thanks so much for watching guys. Um, at the moment, as of right now when I'm filming, I have almost 20,000 subscribers and that's just amazing. Uh, I can't believe that there's so many people who enjoy this little niche hobby and I'm happy to share it. And if you guys have any questions, you can always let me know. I have an Instagram, I have a Facebook. I could stand to answer things a little more and check a little more regularly, but I do. I get to it, I promise. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.